One of the big differences about the Crawford Nickel Cobalt Project is a nickel sulfide deposit that is hosted in a, in a rock called serpentine, um, which when it's uh, exposed to air naturally absorbs CO2. So we're in the very fortunate position, and we recently announced this, that you know, we have the potential to um, produce uh, net zero nickel, net zero cobalt, and net zero iron from this deposit. And as we advance through uh, our various engineering studies, you know, that's gonna be a goal um, you know, that we're confident that we can uh, deliver on. One of the fundamental issues in the nickel market today is that you know, the largest source of supply for the last five years, it's actually been more than 100% of overall supply growth, and the largest source of supply you know, coming to the market in the next five years is from nickel, nickel pig iron production in Indonesia. You know, that is a form of production that uses a lot of electricity, and they use coal to make that electricity. So as a result, um, you know, this type of production uses 25 to 30 tons of coal per ton of nickel produced. Um, that in turn generates nearly 90 tons of CO2 per ton of nickel. And again, you know, for the electric vehicle market, we're trying to lower the, you know, the, the global carbon footprint. You know, the last thing they want to do is, you know, have the 50 kilos of nickel that goes in underneath the car have four tons of CO2 effectively strapped to it. So, you know, we think um, you know, Crawford is a great project on its own. You know, we think the ability for it to be a potential deliverer of net zero carbon, nickel, cobalt, and iron, you know, it will make it a standout project um, you know, for the coming decade.